So what we want to do in this tutorial is to set up Microsoft Word to its optimum so that we can use it for working with pictures. So the first thing we do is we open Microsoft Word. The view that, we, that it opens with may not be the exact view that we want. Here we can see the whole page that we would be working with. We don't really want that most of the time. What we would like to be able to do is to see what we are typing. So the first thing we would do is we would go to this zoom window and we would zoom to the page width. So now we can see far better the width of the, of the page that we're going to be working with. We also need to have three different menus available to us. We want to have the standard toolbar, we want to have the formatting toolbar, and we want down the bottom here to have the drawing toolbar. Now they're not automatically set. They're not always there viewable to us. So if we need, if they weren't there, we would go to View and Toolbars. And as you can see here, the standard, the formatting, and the drawing toolbars are already clicked. Now we would come down to Customize, and it offers us the standard formatting and drawing, and also the menu bar. Now the menu bar we cannot actually get rid of. That's this one up here that shows File, Edit, View, and Insert, etc. on the top here. That one is essential there all of the time. So if we deselect the standard, you can see that the toolbar disappears up here. We can deselect formatting, it disappears up here. We can deselect drawing, and it disappears from this section here. So as you can see, if you were to come to your Microsoft Word page and this is what you were offered, you wouldn't have the possibility of editing your, um, your text size, your font size. You wouldn't be able to change the type of font from Times New Roman to whatever font you would like to work with. You wouldn't be able to insert text boxes, etc. So what we want to do is to put those toolbars back in place. View and Toolbars. And this lists out all of the toolbars that we can have. And we come down to the bottom to Customize. When we click on Customize, you can see under the Toolbars tab, we want to put up the Standard. And as we click them, note that they appear. That's the Standard one. Then the Formatting. And then the Drawing Toolbar. And now we have set up Microsoft Word for use. Another thing that can happen with these toolbars is that at the, at the left hand side of the toolbar there are a number of little dots. Those dots allow us to move the toolbars. So if I left click and hold I can move this toolbar and I could actually put it on top of the toolbar that was there or I could leave it down, on down where I can't see all of the other toolbars. So if you come to, the, to Microsoft Word and you find that you can't actually see all of the toolbars, make sure that they are separate like that by left clicking and holding on the dots at the beginning of each of these menus. So we want to have all of these available to us, the standard, the formatting and the drawing toolbars.